Hello and welcome to our Mindful Monday series, Breathwork Basics. My name is Allison Knight and I am the health coach for Employee Health Center. Today actually wraps up our Breathwork Basics series as we will be starting a new series next week. And <clears throat> the last breathing technique that we are going through is the alternate nostril breathing or in Sanskrit, Nadi Shodhan Pranayama which translates to a subtle energy clearing breathing technique. It has a lot of benefits. It can help clear your mind. It can help reduce anxiety. Um, it can help bring it a feeling of relaxation. It can be especially useful to use before the actual practice of meditation to help clear your mind and relax your body. Um, when it's performed for just a few minutes, it's also great for instantly reducing stress and fatigue. And it's also a efficient practice that you can use before going into a stressful situation like a job interview or public speaking engagement. So as always with breath work or meditation or mindfulness practice, you want to sit in a comfortable position with your spine long and your hips relaxed. Go ahead and shrug those shoulders up and drop them, releasing the tension from your shoulders. Go ahead and unhinge your jaw and close it releasing tension from your jaw. And when you're ready, go ahead and flutter those eyes closed. You're going to place your left hand on your left knee with your palm facing upward or with your <clears throat> tip of your index and thumb fingers gently together. You're going to place the tips of your index finger and your middle finger of your right hand on your forehead between your eyebrows and you're going to put your ring finger and your little finger on your left nostril and the thumb on your right nostril. And you're gonna look a little silly and it might sound a little silly. You're going to use the ring finger and the little finger to open and close your left nostril. And you're going to use your thumb to open and close your right nostril. So on exhalation, close the right nostril with your thumb and breathe out through your left nostril. And breathe in through both nostrils. Close the right nostril and breathe out completely through the left nostril. Breathe in through the left nostril. Then close with the ring finger, release the thumb on the right nostril and breathe out through the right nostril. Inhale through the right nostril. Close with the thumb, release your ring finger from the left side and exhale through the left nostril. These four steps constitute one round of alternate nostril breathing. And you wanna make sure that you're keeping your breath even, slow and gentle. And you're probably going to find <clears throat> that one nostril is working better than the other, especially if you have allergies or sinus issues. Um, but generally, we're actually breathing out of one nostril at a higher capacity than the other at any given time. So you're probably going to realize that. So we're going to perform five to nine rounds of this alternating breathing between the nostrils. Remember to always inhale through the same nostril you just exhaled through and then switch. And again, keep your breath even, slow, and gentle throughout. If you're a beginner, let your inhalation <clears throat> and exhalation counts be four. And as you, can, as you progress, you can um, count, make that exhalation longer, which at that six to eight count, um, then your ex inhalation, which should be around four. If you have any advanced, if you're in your advanced practice, you could also add retention after each exhalation and inhalation. So holding your breath. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get back in that stance and go through some breaths. So again, close the right nostril, breathe out through your left nostril, breathe in through both, close the right nostril, breathe out through the left. In. 
close with your ring finger, breathe out. Breathe in, close. When you're ready, go ahead and come back to the space. So again, I kind of mentioned what some of the benefits of this were, <clears throat> why it's a good practice to try. Um, there's lots of different types of breathing techniques, but this is a soothing option that has lots of benefits. Again, it calms and centers that mind, helps you refocus, helps you concentrate, brings the mind back to the present and out of the past or the future. So releasing old fears, regret, and worry. It's actually therapeutic for our circulatory and our respiratory system. It's stress relieving and relaxes the body, the body and the mind. It helps harmonize the left and right hemispheres of the brain, which correlate to logical and emotional sides of our personality. And it helps purify and balance the nadis, the subtle energy changes channels, thereby by ensuring smooth flow of prana or life force through the body. And it also helps maintain body temperature. <clears throat> Three important things to remember while you're doing this practice. The breathing pattern is breathe out, breathe in, switch sides. So at first it might seem a little confusing, but once you get into the rhythm of things and once you've practiced it for a while, it becomes second nature. Do not force the breath. Keep it gentle and natural. Allow the breath to be smooth and even without creating a force or pressure especially because that means you're more likely to feel dizzy or faint. So just maintain a normal, regular breathing pattern. Do not breathe out through the mouth or make any sound. And then place your fingers very lightly on the forehead and nose. There's no need to apply any pressure. So just some extra tips and techniques on how to perform alternate nostril breathing correctly and get the most benefit out of it. Thank you so much for joining me today. Joining me for our Breathwork Basics series. Hopefully you found some Breathwork Basics that you can implement into your life to help reduce stress, relieve anxiety, help you refocus, recenter, concentrate, all of those things. Um, and our next series is actually just going to be social media posts. And then we will be doing mindful meditations starting in October. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope that you have a wonderful and mindful Monday.